Hello from Idaho. I strive to provide interesting videos about motorcycles, fabrication, welding, electronics, machining, and general creativity. I hope you enjoy. Hello from Idaho. Like many of you, I have a uh, 20 ton hydraulic press in my shop. I bought this either on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or somewhere. It was partially assembled, but I got it together correctly and have made a few improvements to it. You can see I've mounted my press plates so that they always go with the hydraulic press wherever I need them. And I've got uh, caster wheels on it. So, you know, as you know, everything in my shop has wheels. I've made this part of the jack handle permanent to the jack. It used to fall out. And then this part is the extension. And it's also the thing you have to find to use to get to let off hydraulic pressure. So also like many of you I'd rather just have a knob here. So I did my internet research and uh, found out that uh, there have been quite a few people have done that. They uh, have made little lathe projects out of it. Uh, others have done other things. But I found a something interesting on the on eBay that I think will uh, give me a little lathe project. It'll be sort of a triviality, and uh, it'll be it'll give me good grip. So this is a five shot cylinder out of a revolver. It happens to be an Ivers Johnson top brake antique revolver in 32 caliber, 32 Smith and Wesson. And it is heavily pitted. I don't know whether you can see the condition very well or not, but it's heavily pitted and not safe for use in a revolver. So it's either a display piece or in my case, it's going to become a knob. And so a little lathe project is to make that fit on here so that I can just turn that knob and release the hydraulic pressure. And so the rest of this video is uh, what I did and how it turned out. Okay, we got a pretty good fit. Yay. I like that. Okay, I've got a really good press fit on these two parts. And so I'm just going to uh, drive it home. Without trying, without marring the surface.
Okay, she is one piece. Now, we can put it back into the jack. You gotta squeeze it past an O-ring first before I get to the threads. And as you can see, I can obviously turn it. Okay, we have our little uh, pressure release knob. Easy to release, easy to tighten. Goodbye from Idaho. As usual, if you like or dislike my video, please select the appropriate button and let me know why. I really appreciate comments and I will answer every one. If you're new to my videos, please select the subscribe and the notification bell to get more videos like this.